Good morning, children. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at your home. First of all, congratulations to all of you for your class test. You attempted all the questions and it was a fantastic result. Few who has lost their marks, no problem, children. Next time, you can give your best. Few who could not able to appear for the test, for them also, I already gave the message to them that they can uh, do or they can apply for the next time. This time, no harsh feeling should be there. Today, children, I am starting with a new topic. That new topic is physical properties of metals. Whenever someone asks you, what are metals? The word, what are metals include all the physical properties of metals. First, let me explain you children. What is the meaning of physical properties? The things which you can see, jo tum dek sakte ho. the things which you can feel, the things which you can touch, those are known as physical properties. Same way, physical properties of metals, things which or objects which come under metals. I don't use the word things or object. Let me use the chemistry term elements. Elements which comes under the term metals in which you can see, in which you can feel, in which you can experiment things or in which you can see the observations, in which you can uh, touch the things. Those are known as physical properties of metals. Let's start with the different physical properties of metals. And these properties, these particular metals with their properties, when react with anything else, those are known as chemical properties. Let's see the first physical property. The first physical property is Metals generally, the word generally, metals are solid except there is an exceptional case that is mercury which is liquid in nature. Let's see one picture of mercury that is this is the picture children which you can see over here. I have put a cursor over here. This is a metal which is liquid in state. Rather than mercury, all other metals are solid. Next come with the next property that is metals are hard. Metals are hard except, again exceptional cases there, that is sodium and potassium. When I say the word sodium and potassium, sodium and potassium are so soft that you can easily cut them in with a help of a knife. But rest of all metals are hard. Now children, one by one I will tell you the properties and related to I will tell you the activity also. Here when I say metals are hard, here for this the activity refers here. Activity 4.1. Over here, they took some iron nail and a coal piece. Iron nail and a coal piece and there they are using a hammer. Now they compare those two. That putting a hammer on iron nail and putting a hammer on coal which will give what effect? They will found that iron nail does not change any Part of iron nail does not break because it is hard. Might be the shape change but it will not break. But on the other hand, coal will break because it is brittle. What is the meaning of brittle? Jo biscuit jaise hote hain, toot jate hain. Easily you can break it. So coal on the other hand is soft or you can use the word that they are not that much hard than metals. But metal that is an iron nail which is hard. So for the second point you will refer activity 4.1. And you will complete 
the table 4.1 in page number 44. With the help of point 2, you will see activity 4.1 and table 4.1, which again I will send you a PDF, what you have to do it in book and what you have to write in the classwork copy. Let's see the next point children. The next point, metals are sonorous. Sonorous means kya? Jo aawaz aata hai. The objects uh, which gives you sound. Ab apne aap to aawaz hoga nahi. Alone it will not give any sound. When you struck that particular metal. Jab kisi se maarte ho. When you struck that particular metal by a hard object that is known as sonorous. So children, metals are sonorous. And what is the meaning of sonorous? The property of metal by which it can produce a ringing sound when struck by a hard object. Next see children. This is a bell, a common example of giving a sonorous sound. That is a sonorous property of a ringing sound. So common example of a metal which can give you sound when stuck with a hard object. That is a bell. Let's see the next one. That is metals are malleable. The word in your NCRT is malleability. Now, what is the meaning of malleability? The property of metal by which it can be beaten into thin sheets. That is known as malleability. Now, children, I gave a common example of malleability. You see aluminium. Okay. Aluminium is a metal. When you beat aluminium, it changes into thin sheets which you are using on your terrace also which you use more thinner if you make you are using into a foil shape to wrap the food to make the food uh, to keep the food hot so those are aluminium foils so how come it can become a thin sheet that thin sheet is a property of malleability that is metals are malleable Malleable means they can show the property of malleability. Now let's see. Metals are ductile. Now the word ductile again relate to the word ductility. What is the meaning of ductility? Metals have a property that they can easily be drawn into thin wires. Metals ko tum wires mein badal sakte ho, bana sakte ho. So that is the part we say ductility and the term known as ductile. That metals are ductile because they undergoes the property of ductility. Let's see children a picture of the wires that is the metals. That is this is the copper. I will give a cursor over here. This is the copper wire, which is a copper is a metal and it has been ductile or it has been shown the property of ductility and we always say that metals are good conductors. So we have to wrap it around it with an insulator and what is the insulator over here? That is a plastic. So blue color, yellow color, these are not metals. Metal is this copper color that is this copper wires which uh, have been made into thin wires. That is the property is known as ductility. Now let's see children. The next property that is metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. For metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Here activity 4.2 that is page number 45. Activity 4.2 has given a setup. I hope everyone has learned in physics closed circuit and open circuit. So they made a closed circuit. Here they took an iron nail. What is an iron? It's a metal. A bulb that they want to see. 
is that the bulb is growing or glowing or not now they took a battery and wires now they set up a particular circuit that figure is figure 4.2 so children always remember whenever my video comes please go through with the book and basically for powerpoint presentation always refer your ncrt book keep the ncrt book so that it will be easy for you so here figure 4.2 will tell you that a setup with a battery or a cell battery i didn't took over here the figure is showing only a cell a cell you can take a battery also a bulb a iron nail which is a metal and certain wires now they want to see that after making a closed circuit will the bulb glow or not your answer has to be yes why because here iron the current is passing through a metal and that metal which has been attached over here is an iron nail and yes the bulb will glow with the help of activity 4.2 in the same page 45 you will refer table 4.3 where they ask you different material iron will it the bulb glow your answer should be yes sulfur no because it's a non metal coal koila se no fourth copper you will say yes now for the physical properties of metals that is the last one that is luxurious children what is the meaning of luxur shine luxur ka matlab hi hota hai shine so objects which shine if I, now ma'am jo object dekhenge wahi um, metal hoga no metals only metals not only the if you have bought a brand new plastic bottle ma'am it is giving a shine means it is a metal no metals metals means things not only um, a particular luxury you will find is that which can be used for a conductor is that which can be used as a malleability is that you will ask question to you so if you find maximum property in a particular object then you rectify this is a metal so metals are luxurious zyada tar metal maximum metals will give you shine immediately when you purchase any metals copper silver gold whenever you go and purchase you will find aluminium iron naya iron ka saman kharido there is a shine and day by day with air with the water they gets a dull but naya jab bhi kharidoge metals will give you a shine so children today we have done with the physical properties of metals next class i will teach you physical properties of non metals your homework whatever i will be sending you through pdf that is first homework second what i said that you have to do it in book only those things you will do it in book and the rest which i am sending that you have to do it in your class work copy i will refer over there class work copy and in book you go through with that third few children ask me that hydrogen has been placed in reactivity series is it a metal or a non metal children don't move fast little bit slow we have to go i will teach you each and everything you will be thorough with reactivity series how to learn you will be thorough with finding the metals and non metals if a name has been given to you how, how you will find is it a metal or non metal but step by step first let me teach you the physical properties dekh ke kaise pata chalega then i will teach you the reactivity series then after reactivity series i will teach you the chemical properties so before asking any question for see have i taught you that topic or not i only gave an introduction and children are asking for reactivity series that is not one and two children there are 300 and students whom i have to teach so let me go step by step and any doubt regarding today's topic which i taught that is physical property 
you are free to ask me only related to physical properties. Thank you children. Have a nice day.